Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree Wix tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add some buttons to your Wix site and how to link them to different pages or social media links. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So here I've got a website already set up. I've just named it PT Arts. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll pick a little section here. Um, so here we go. We've got our story. Um, we'll go ahead and click on that and you've got a little side menu here um, where it says add elements, add section, pages menu, site design, etc. So we're mainly focused on these. So we're going to go ahead and add an element. So as you can see here, there's quite a list of them. Don't worry if you get overwhelmed, you can search it on the search bar here, just beside the question mark on X or it should just be on the third section there, which is button. Um, as you can see here, there's a few default buttons that they've already provided and a couple of different designs. You can have them as icon, image buttons, document buttons, iTunes buttons, but we're only focusing on the basic ones, which is the theme button or a text icon, text and icon button. So we'll go ahead and just click on one of the themed ones. Go, going for sort of the same flow as the site, we'll just click on this one. Wait for that to load. Perfect. Right. So you can actually attach this to a section. So we'll uh, we'll attach that to the strip. Okay. Perfect. And now we can adjust it. A little bit laggy. We can adjust it to the middle. There you are. So uh, you'll get a little menu on here in the top here. So you'll have checks, uh, change text and icon, a layout, design, animation, link, and help. So that's our little main goal to be here uh, is your link. So we'll go ahead and change the text icon. If you can't see it, you can just drag this little top up and you can have it as text only without the icon. You can have icon only, text and icon, or you can have completely nothing and just let it be a button. But we'll stick with text and icon. And then you can also change uh, or replace the icon if you wanted to. Just by clicking on that little refresh button. Um, you can also check the media from Wix or you can upload some of your own designs if you wanted to. So pre pretty much anything from Awesome uh, Fonts Awesome or Awesome Fonts. Um, but yes, you can add them in there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and have this to say, read more. And pretty much everything is already in this little menu here. So you can decide to change the link here, or you can decide to change the link here on the menu area. Um, once you've clicked on it, you'll be given this little page. Um, and you can connect it to a page. You can connect it to a web address an email, just depending on what you're using the button for. But we'll go ahead and we'll just leave it as page. You can choose a page and just for the meantime, so we'll just have it linking to the shop, for example. So we'll go ahead and click done. Perfect. Now the way to test this is you click up here on the top right, which is the preview. So just click on that. There you go. We can see our active site. Well, quote unquote active site. Um, got our little animation there. Uh, we'll click on read more. Should work. Just waiting for it to load. There you go. Now it's loaded. Perfect. So here it is. Here's our little um, PT art shop, as, as we could say. So now we know that that section works for the button. We'll click back on editor. That should take us back to our page that we need to be. So we'll go back to home. Scroll down, as you can see, there's the read more. And another thing as well, you can design, uh, change to, uh, the layout. It doesn't have to be the exact default uh, as what Wix provides, so you can change it. 
its design, as you can see. You can customize it if you want, so you can have a little bit of text on that. And then you can change the font size. Just double check that before you change the font size that it's clicked. And you can change the sizing. But we'll leave it at 15px. There's a couple of other ones there where you can turn it bold, italics. You can change the text color. And also the good thing about this is so you can have your regular button with one solid color. And then you can have your hover as another color as well. With the same font or and a different text color. And another thing as well is if you wanted to also change the link, you can do so. As I've said before, you can change it to a web address. So let me just grab a link. Okay, so I've got a little link. So we'll go ahead and paste it on there. Um, you can decide if you want it to stay on the current window or you can also have it so it opens up a new window. So that's primarily up to yourself, depending on how you want to design your website. Just click done. And again, to test it, we'll go on preview. So now we're on the preview mode. Once I click on read more, it should link me to profile tree. All right, apologies. Um, so if you do click on this little button, it will put you to the link that you put it at, but it has to be, as it says here, a uh, published site. But anyway, anyway folks, uh, hopefully this tutorial helped. If you have any questions at all, just leave them down below in the comment section. And yes, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.